watch out. Our next guest used to do the weather. He said he did it here once. <laughs> he said he did it here once. He uh, continues to have an incredible run in film and television. His notable film credits include Mortal Kombat, Nobody's Fool, A Fall from Grace, and on TV, he's known for Supergirl, True Blood, Desperate Housewives, and now Law and Order. Take a look. Uh, Detective Jalen Shaw. It's a pleasure to meet you, Detective. Vincent Riley. Pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir, but with all due respect, we got this. This is our crime scene. I understand. I was just walking uptown. I saw the swirling lights, and I got excited. But I popped my head inside. I have been to a crime scene in over 30 years. Couldn't help myself. And I'm sorry to interfere. Please, get back to what you were doing. There's one more thing. I want you all to know that I'm going to do everything in my power to create a constructive and transparent relationship with the police. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Please welcome back actor, producer, music artist, and apparently Phil Lynn meteorologist, Macad Brooks. Yes. <laughs> so What's good morning to you. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good Great. To see you. Welcome awesome. back. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Uh, so another season with Law and Order. Yeah. You're, you're playing a detective, Detective Jalen Shaw again. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your character, are, and are there any similarities between your character and who you are in real life? Uh, yeah, I, I think I think so. Um, we we both are, are staunch advocates for peace and, and justice, and um, speaking up for the little the, for the for the little guy. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, you know my, my father's an attorney, so Jalen used to be an attorney, became a, a homicide detective, and so like I, I take a lot of pointers from my family, and like having grown up in that household, my mom's a journalist, my my dad's an attorney, so uh, my my entire upbringing was about human equity mm. and uh, how does how do you spread that in in the uh, in the most uh, way of, of being at service for the world yeah. so uh, Jalen is that yeah, yeah. Jalen right. is that. yeah. you know Law and Order is one of the longest running dramas on television one of mm -hmm. my favorites it's a bit We're of a new lucky. cast yeah. new blood right we saw Tony Goldwyn George just joining the cast it was incredible yeah. yeah so he's taking he's got some big shoes to fill for, for as well for you, when you got the call to be on the long, one of the longest running shows, most popular, mm -hmm. you know, what was that reaction for you to join? Was there pressure? Um, I don't know if it was pressure <laughs> as much as it was like um, just ecstaticism. Like yeah. I, I, I got, I got the call, and uh, we had a we had a chemistry read, and then I got the job like within like forty eight hours. Yeah. And Whoa. then uh, I got the news, and I was like a child. Mm -hmm. I, I was on the Facetime with my team. And I just kind of fell over, and like, I kicked my legs Aww. up, and mm -hmm. <laughs> started, started celebrating like that, like like a twelve year old, because I was twelve when I started watching the show. Like yeah. I, I grew up with the show; it was on on our house all the time. Right. And so, just to wrap my head around the fact that now I'm going to be doing that walk with that music, mm -hmm. it was just like <laughs> it was music. it was like a psychic break in some ways. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. was so surreal. I mean, could you have ever imagined? At that time, I mean, 12 years old, and now, I mean, gosh. You know what? I, I, at 12, no. But as I got older, kinda. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I did. I did an episode of SVU years years ago, like maybe 10, 11 years ago. With, Me too. With Mariska. Did you? He huh. played a reporter. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. tough. That was a stretch. So you're in the Wolfpack. We're in the Wolfpack together. <laughs> cool. Go. Awesome. Well, let me ask you this. But I just, just want to finish oh, no, the story because it's, it's incredible. Because like, so I did. I did the episode, and then Mariska walks in, and we're we're talking. I, I meet her for the first time, and she goes. You know, you'd make a great d detective. Mm. And I was like, Yeah. Okay. And then 11, 12 years later, here we are. Now you All see, right. your dad's an attorney, right? He is. So, when you, would there be any other role you would have wanted to play? I mean, would you want to be an attorney on the show, or did you really want to be a cop? Oh, uh, I listen. I, Hugh does an incredible job, yeah. and and he's got dialogue like this sometimes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm not even cop. done. It's still here. Okay, still going. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy just just being this, this this character who's a wolf on the hunt, mm -hmm. looking for, for bad guys, trying to keep New York safe. Um, and I'll, I'll let Hugh lock them up. All right. Yeah, so, you know, what's up? You like big franchises, right? You go Law and Order. Now you got Mortal Kombat two coming out. I like franchises. Game. You know, yeah. franchises are safer. Yeah, because they're, they're, right they're, they're safer. They got a fan base. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're tried <laughs> and tested. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Mortal Kombat two. What can people yeah. expect? Oh man, it's a, it's a fight movie. Um, okay. So if you're if you're a fan of the game. There's 27 fights in the movie, wow. I think. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think there's 27 fights yeah. in the movie. Jeez. Each fight is three to five minutes long. Yeah. It's a fight movie. So if you're a fan of the game, anything that we kind of didn't touch on last time, we fixed it. Mm -hmm. Like, we heard the fans. We listened. Todd Gardner's an incredible producer. New Line Cinema really, really uh, dug in. And um, we worked with, the, uh, with Ed Boon, who created the game. Yeah. And so 
it's very true to the game. Were you into the game? Were you one of those guys that oh was my, like listen, pressing all so, the buttons? So here's the thing. I'm playing, I'm playing Mortal Kombat yeah. as a kid, yeah. and then I'm watching Law & Order. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, really? it, it's like, it's, it's like a dream come true. You it's like manifested this, it. I believe in that. Right? Like, it's, you know, you put it out there, and it also draws you in. Yeah. What can't you do? I mean, you, you do movies. I mean, I mean, are you... I don't do stuff I'm not good at. Mm. You're a musician. <laughs> you sing. Yeah, I do. Tell us a little bit about what's coming up for you now. Uh, I put out my first album in 2017. It did pretty well. Uh, and then, thank you. And then I've put out some singles since then. I had a single coming out called Universe. Okay. Which is kind of like a electronic R&B kind of vibey oh. spiritual song. Nice. Wow. Yeah, really cool. That's new and different. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It is. And then I have a, a, an album, a collaboration album coming out May or June with this kid named Wizard, who's this incredible drill hip hop producer from London called Spiritual Gangster. And it's really just about the fact that a lot of times hip hop is low vibrational energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you're a spiritual person, sometimes you have to stop listening to it. Mm. Mm. But I was like, well, I grew up on hip hop and I, I became very spiritual. So what, how do I intersect these mm -hmm. two things, right? And so it's, it's a high vibrational, very positive. Love that. But also turned up kind of hip. All right. right. You know, so. When can we expect it? That's a. Spiritual hit. Gangster will come out May, June. We haven't decided okay. yet. Right, so come like, back here May, June and perform. Let's go. All right. All right. Yeah. There you go. go. Let's We're going to write those. <laughs> Again, yeah. sign a contract. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming in. We're big fans of Law and Order, so we will be yeah. checking you out. I am too. You, ever need a, sure. you, ever, you guys ever need a reporter? Sure. I've been there. <laughs> let's right? go. Just let me know. Let's go. Let's All go. Right.